Welcome to this video. I want to go over how to do section views today and perhaps uh, present some strategies that will make your section views more concise and a little bit more readable and easy to follow by the user. So I made this generic part and first off let's go over how to do a section view. It's quite easy. You go in the view layout tab, select section view and it lets you choose vertical, horizontal, diagonal, or an aligned view. It's more like a almost like a pie view. So I choose a vertical view. I can uh, position the section line anywhere that I would wish to. Quite often you can choose the exact center. Likewise with the uh, horizontal and the angle as well. So if I were to do a horizontal section cut it enables me to cut through that line and look in the direction of the arrows. In this case, we're looking this way. Now if I want to look the other direction, all I have to do is over here choose flip direction. And now we're looking at this section instead of this section. Notice it defaults to being locked into an alignment with where we did the section cut. If I want to move that somewhere else, I simply say alignment, break alignment, and move it to where it is needed. Notice I can start dimensioning or giving annotations on these holes, but I am not intersecting these holes or this hole. So I can do a vertical section cut, which would capture this hole and this hole. Section view, vertical. But likewise, I do not have this hole on there. One simple solution is I can section view with our line section view, and it will allow me to choose, I'll go with this hole, and over here. And in this manner, I capture all three holes this hole, this hole, and this hole. Here, here, and here. Now, um, what if I want to save space, or what if I have even more features that do not align up with just two lines? What am I supposed to do then? Well, we can become a little bit more complex. And in that case, I make a sketch, and notice I'm not using uh, center lines, but regular lines here. And I'll make an arc. Center line. Or, I'm sorry, center of the hole, rather. Make an arc. And straight up through. <coughs> Okay, so I've got a sketch where the line goes boing, 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 boing. And what I can do is select a member of the sketch, say view layout, section view, and it recognizes the sketch that I've created as a section line to cut. And notice I have all three holes of all the features captured, and I'm using only half of the model, so it is highly efficient. This should be very clear for any anyone who has any sort of experience reading drawings, what you're portraying, and you're doing it in a very concise manner. I've had many drawings which I've needed to save a lot of space on the page, and this has been a great solution for me. So I hope this uh, was helpful, and I hope this allows you to understand section views and maybe present them in a concise manner when needed. If this was helpful, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.